contact management, CRM for business management, and the iPhone for mobile communication. All of my systems talk to one another. If you're using this device with a Blackberry, we can have your CRM talk directly to those devices. If you have a database the size of Jim's, you can't put all your contacts, well you might be able to, but it's going to be tough. It's going to slow the Blackberry down. I have 175,000 names in my database, he's got more. Wow. There's no way I can put that on the iPhone and still have room for Van Morrison and The Cure and everything I want to listen to. <laughs> right? So what I do is there's this little ingenuitive thing they build on the iPhone, it's called the apps. And there's an app for Salesforce, which is what we're built on. And you just click on it, and you can access your entire database, it takes up no space on your iPhone or your library. Okay. Jim, we're getting iPhone. Oh, no. You just convinced me. Well, he hadn't even seen that yet. No. Right? So there's all of this stuff that you can do. And the cool thing about working in our environment, when we chose this software, we chose to build on Salesforce, I know. When we chose it, it was because of all these little things. When you're dealing with more Spire CRM, our partner is Salesforce.com. We're the number 40 worldwide reseller of Salesforce. We sell more Salesforce accounts to mortgage professionals, real estate professionals than even Salesforce does. Okay? And all we do is live, eat, and drink, drink those two niches. And our job is not to sell you software. We have a much more difficult job. Our job is to get you to adopt the software that you purchase. So I've already told two or three of you guys here that Love Act, I said, stay with it. Buy my ebooks or look at my ebooks that are free online. Adopt those strategies. But if you've got a great system, just use it. Because there's enough people out there that don't like Act or don't have a system that will come and become my customers. And you might even send them my way. So keep that in mind. The key with Outlook is this Outlook is located on your PC back at the office, correct? Or on your laptop? Yeah. Okay, how many of you can check Outlook from here? Okay. One of the things you can do with the CRM and Outlook combination is you're going to be able to empty your inbox every day. Okay, we teach a program called Darts, and you guys have ever seen David Allen speak on getting things done? There's a certain amount of freedom in having an empty inbox. I've had an empty inbox for seven years. Okay, that's 365 days a year. Every message that comes in, my goal is to have that as a request of something I can do to help that person, or it's going to make me money. They're ready to order something. Newsletters, stuff like that, it's inappropriate. I don't want it in my voicemail system, I don't want it in my inbox. Empty all that stuff out. Archive everything in your CRM, do a search, you can find that message later on. I was just telling one of the loan officers today that IBM did a study in the 80s. Find out how much time their mid-level and senior, senior level managers spend each year looking for files in the file folders. You know, hey John, go grab me that file. This was in the mid-80s, this is pre-email. This consulting team spent two years doing this study, and they found that the average IBM professional, senior and, um, senior and middle-level manager, spent six weeks every year looking for folders. Can you imagine how much time you're wasting trying to find emails? I know how much time he could be wasting, because I've seen his. 20 years of notes. Amazing, by the way. Okay? So you got to have a system that will allow you to receive information in your inbox, in your voicemail. All my voicemail gets texted to me. Can you take that? You decide, what do I need to do? Delete, archive, reply, or read it, reply, and set up a task or a workflow because this person needs to get the pipeline now. I was sitting in the back of the room taking notes and processing my workflow yesterday. I got 65 leads while we were sitting here at this conference. I did not skip a beat because I have a cloud-based virtual system, a CRM that will allow me to work from anywhere where there's a wireless connection or internet access. It's a great way to live. I'll close up. Who's got Blackberries? Who's got iPhones? You're a part of the 90% of the market that uses one of those two devices. Okay? If you're using those devices, you will be one button, one download and one button away of being able to access your entire database and history using those devices. You can plug directly into the Mortgage Planner CRM, just like a Facebook app. Track your contacts, your leads, your loans, referrals, and more. We have a multi-tiered platform that will allow you to track the leads that you get from your clients and partners. We track the leads that you give to your partners, okay? And we also track each and every one of your partner's leads. Now this is where the rubber meets the road. You guys will buy the program because one of my good sales guys will impress you. 
we have 90% renewal rates because my wife and business partner has the best customer support team in the world. We will be the only vendor, I guarantee you, that will call you four times a year to check in and see if we can help you with anything. How many clients we got here that can verify that? That's my special people, Jim. Good talk, Rob. He does make life that simple. I did a one-on-one -on -one training with Mike, and I had to do the D A R T S. But I was like, I want a keyboard. He's like, Why? And he, was, he gave me some examples. I was like, At least that day, we definitely cleaned up the inbox and knocked out a few hundred emails. But, um, it, it's fascinating because the part of him making me exercise to grab one of Brian's many very important emails that I need to keep. Um, for just to pick one person, for instance, and uh, boy, to be able to boom and categorize it and put a little flag to it in his piece in my CRM. In other words, I'm talking about my partner, not a customer right now, and that's what's so huge about this too, it, is Mike has created a CRM for life, for business and life. I'm doing my long toolbox stuff in there, my consulting stuff, my branch partner, uh, as in leadership stuff, and the customer stuff in there too. And Diana, my production partner, can get in there and the level access she needs and manage things, etc. I think you talk a minute though about now the flow of, of, of information to the customer and the systems you have, email campaigns to marketing. Just talk about all that for a minute. We have this vision that you guys don't type very well. I know that's me being sort of, you know, looking at old school and stuff, and I've seen loan officers kind of hunt and pack, and the new generation, they jam on everything. But when we designed this dashboard, we had it kind of in mind that this was the picture of the user. One hand on the mouse, and one hand on their phone. And hopefully they get a headset at some point. And if they could do business that way, then they're going to be able to rapidly deploy more workflows and more automation. So every time we build a new part of the system, we ask if it can be deployed with one hand on the phone, and one hand on the mouse. So literally, if you had a chance to watch me work and some of our black belt clients work, you would notice that as the information's coming in, they're literally clicking to process the information, there's very little data entry, and they're literally picking templates that are pre-designed by us and or them, and they're going, boom, this is a request, boom, I'm gonna set this in motion, and boom, delete. And all that happens after that is the emails start going out to the leads the emails start going out to a person that's looking to buy a house or to refinance because that's the type of information they should receive.